Now I'm using set 13 of the fabric effect baubles and I'm going to do this. It's a box but in the shape of like half a cracker really. So what you need to do is print that out first or whichever size you want that's in the template set. Now I've printed out some background papers that I want to use. Now I could use them on the thin paper but one tip is if you want you can if you wish make a nice thicker box by uh, no, you can't. What will come to me? You see, when you're printing out on both sides, sometimes if you're a bit thick, you don't quite. It's upside down, back to front. So what I like to do is to get a little bit of thickness, a bit of firmness in my boxes. I print it onto the thin paper, and then I stick some thicker paper in between. So that's an 80 gram paper, and it's 120 gram there piece of card. And then I'm going to stick that on the back. And then just stick it with a little bit of glue. <laughs> Nothing gets by me, you know. A little bit of glue, whichever you prefer. Stick those together. You don't need it all over it. Don't want to use a PVA, which will make it wrinkle too much. So you can do that together. I'll tell you a little tip. I've done this with fabric as well. Just stick the fabric so you get fabric effect boxes. Anyway, back to the dem. So what you do then is take the design that you want, the template, and then just trim it down and just using a little bit of masking tape just hold it in position I've got it double sided here as you can see and now I'm going to take my ruler and my embossing tool and where you can see all the dotted lines that's where you're going to fold now to help the fold you just crease it using a ruler and an embossing tool or some tool that's pretty blunt there you go just score down there and that will put an indentation in the paper and card underneath which will help you fold exactly in the right place so do all that and then cut it out with a pair of scissors so when you've cut it out you end up with it looking like that so there's my template and because i've creased where all the folds are this is going to fold together much easier so what i do is make sure you fold over first and then taking a boning tool which seems to have disappeared where's that gone see ya just make sure all the creases are really nice nicely stuck down like so and then just repeat repeat and do it that way too now you've got two little flaps here on the end there's one here and there's one here which you can see on the template let me show you on the template there you go that little section there and that little section there that's where you're going to glue it you can glue the base if you want to but you can also just fold it in so all i've got to do now is apply a little bit of glue on those two flaps just press that down make sure it's not going anywhere a little bit of glue there a little bit of glue there and then fold this over so that sticks onto there like so and just hold it in position until it's stuck so now that is securely stuck together and that's what you end up with now all you've got to do is fold the flaps in at the bottom, fold them down, fold that in, fold that over and on the final fold I just like to add a little bit of glue there and that will keep that in position. Just hold that in position until it's dry. So that's the base securely stuck now. So you can turn that up and then that can just pre you fill it up with whatever you want. And then that can just press down you've got a sealed box there if you want to really seal it well i just put a little piece of ribbon around the outside there and i just tie a little bow like so when you pull that in you can see that narrows that there at the top so that's secure quite nice sticking pencils or something like that so i've got a little top there you can see that i've got that done and if you want you could have added a little tag from the same design set as well 